What up, folks? We're back again. TBiz here. And I wanted to check out some best action figures again. Uh, I wanted to see if these were a little bit better than previous figures we've checked out. And so far, we've got uh, Casey Jones, Bebop, and Raph, the arcade version. They had a Leo, which I didn't realize these were arcade versions at first. I don't know why. I should have been able to tell because they're definitely not animated. But I wanted to check them out either way. And uh, yeah, man. First of all, we'll just uh, check the packaging. It's not bad. It's all right, but it's going to go in the trash as usual. Let's see. Uh, Casey Jones is a crazed vigilante who goes after all sorts of crime from armed robbery to littering. While he may not be a part of the Ninja Turtles crew, he is always someone they can count on when they need help. So, yeah, there's, that's all the stuff he comes with. And, yeah, 31 points of articulation. Next up, we have Bebop. Old school, man. He's really cool. I like him. He looks cool in the package so far. Bebop was originally a human gangster that was employed by Shredder after his foot soldiers failed to stop the turtles. Shredder spliced his DNA with a warthog. As a result, Bebop became a mutated mix of warthog and man, donning twin turtle shells on his shoulders to mark his new job as an enforcer for Shredder. 31 points of articulation again. All right, go. Uh, here's good old Raphael arcade version. It's got the cool, like, uh, I wouldn't say cell shade, but just like pixelated paint, which is pretty neat. And here's all the guys pixelated on the side. Let's see. That's pretty cool, man. 31 points. Let's see. This hothead is also the most opinionated, impulsive, and restless turtle. Raphael, Raph. Loves nothing more than to test himself in battle and trains for sheer enjoyment. He usually is usually the one to leap out into action, and it's nearly impossible to get him to back down. Raphael's weapon of choice, twin size. So yeah, duh. Anyway, so let's check All them right. out, folks. And here they are. We'll take a minute and get them geared up. And here they are, folks. And once again, these figures are not without their issues. They're not totally bad, but they're not totally great. Here's good old Raph. Yeah, the paint's pretty cool. I like the pixelated paint apps that's actually really cool actually not bad at all very cool kind of not too bad on articulation but not insanely great either like i said you kind of have to work with these figures a little bit thank god he comes with the extra head sculpt which is rad or head portrait whatever you want to call it and um let's see his hands so yeah, it's the, I don't know. Well, it just popped out. Just pop it back in. But uh, the you don't get much range on some of these figures as far as like the the hinge on the hands and stuff like that. And um, yeah, at least you can store the weapons pretty well, so that's not too bad at all. And the shells articulated, which is kind of cool too, as you can see right in between there. That's not too bad. But well, like I said, once again, it's not too great. And yeah, once again, you got a we got a toothy head portrait, which is cool. Probably put that on him, and um, get another holy hand, another grippy holy hand, and a fist, and another fist. So that's that's cool, man. We'll have to get him set up. One fail for these figures is uh, if you're putting the head on, yeah, you might want to watch out because if you mash down hard enough, it pops this little ball joint out right there. And that's pretty much a pain in the ass to try to get back in, for real. And you actually can get that peg to go back in if you just get some pliers like so, hold it in place firmly, and then pop it down, and it actually works. So it's it's not we a total have Casey loss. Jones. I prefer him with the hockey mask. He just looks totally menacing. And we'll check out his articulation. Um, it's okay. It's it's not bad. They shouldn't call these guys best. They should just call him it's okay. <laughs> like he's got double elbows, which is cool. Seems like a little bit more articulation going there. Looks like he's got a butterfly joint in there or whatever. And um, he's got a diaphragm, somewhat of a waist. Get that out of there. But not much, not much going on, yeah, as far as that swivel goes. Let's see. No, it's cool. It's, you got the Laird, like the Eastman and Laird right there on a sports equipment, so that's rad. And, um, yeah, it's, it's okay. It's just, it could be a lot better. That seems to be a little stuck right there. It's got double knees, which I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad in the knees. The feet are kind of wonky and weird. The hinge isn't that great, but it does swivel quite a bit. But I would watch out just because it's a little hindered with the sweats right there. But it's okay. Not much 
Not much total range. It's really not, it's not bad, but it's not great. It could be a lot better. It really could be. Let's see if we can get him in a little pose. Get him to hold that pose. Let me see. Yeah, got to kind of work with these guys a lot. And um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad necessarily, but if you're spoiled, like most of us are on like these heavily articulated figures, these aren't going to really cut it, so to speak, but uh, they aren't bad. And I already have a collection of these already so far, so I don't mind them existing in their own crappy little universe. Or whatever. <laughs> and here's his uh, regular normal head portrait, which isn't too bad. He looks a little cross-eyed, but yeah, we won't use this on him. And he's got two extra fists, the wrapped and the gloved. So those aren't that big a deal. I wish the pegs were a little bit longer on those ball hinges. That would maybe give it a little bit more range or, I don't know, yeah, maybe not, but at least it wouldn't pop out because Raf, he's got a big problem. If you move his hands a bit, they pop right out. And uh, yeah, other than that, they're not, yeah, they're just okay. They're just okay. If you want to just get, I don't know, just some minimal posing, they're not bad. Maybe I'm not doing the best, but I don't think I'm doing the worst <laughs> as far as posing them. And here's a good old Bebop. Bebop's actually cool. I feel like he's the better of them. There's a little flack right there. It needs to be cut off. Got the hinge on the hand, which isn't too bad. Got double elbows again, which is cool. Pretty good on those. Shoulders don't go out too much because they're hindered by the turtle pauldrons and stuff. And he's got a cool necklace, bone necklace, vest. That's cool. He'll probably take that vest off at some point. Maybe give it to another character. Got the diaphragm. Just goes side to side a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. He's got his knife. So you can put like with the with this little bullet strap, which is cool. Got double knees. His legs go out a bit. He's got that upper thigh cut. This isn't too bad. He's a chunky guy. He's not bad. Not bad at all. I think he's my favorite of the two. Casey's not bad, but yeah, he doesn't stand as well. This guy's going to stand a little bit better just because he's a little more heavy. And he's got wider feet to balance himself on. Yeah, and the hands, I don't know. Hands could be a little bit better as far as holding, uh, holding weapons and stuff. Not great, but not bad. He's got his cool little... <laughs> golf bag which is rad but yeah let's get him back again in the back and i don't know what i did with this uh his bat bat so they're hockey sticks so yeah it's, yeah see i don't know he's okay he's okay we lost focus on on bebop over here which i think is the better of the three for sure really cool man i like him a lot He's rad, dude. I should have just got him, to be honest with you, because the turtles don't seem to be getting any better. Here's his other head portrait, which is rad. Very cool. And these are hard as hell to peg on. You probably want to heat them up. I don't even know if that'll work because plastic is really like hard-ass PVC. There's other hands and stuff, so that's cool. Got four fingers and punchy hands, which is rad. But yeah, all in all, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for these guys. They're okay. They're not that great. Um, will I keep buying best action? I'll probably pick them up every once in a while. It just depends on what I feel like. I just feel like they could be a little bit better, you know, just a little bit better. But uh, we'll see, man. They, they just, uh, these two seem to be a little bit better, not so much. But I think what they need to work on is just like getting the feet to just kind of hinge and pivot a little bit better. And that would help a whole hell of a lot. That and, um, yeah, they all have different feet. Like, Raph's got a little bit more flat, bigger feet. Casey's, he's got, like, little narrow feet. And good old Bebop's got, like, you know, a little bit. He's got the same kind of sneakers, but just bigger, wider, able for him to stand a little bit better. Anyways, uh, let me know what you think about these figures, or if you like them or not. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. Take it easy. Later.